We often believe that love can be found through a person's physical appearance. Having a beautiful or a handsome face is one of the top most requirements for some of us. But would you rather have a feeling to someone based on his or her intellectual capacity? Or you will just consider his or her appearance for it gives you the same feeling of being infatuated in or in love. Rizal, as we all know, our national hero was not all about his love for his country. He may fought for the freedom that he wanted to have for his fellow men, but just like any normal person, Rizal had a tendency and capacity to love someone. He also experienced giving his genuine love to someone he really admired. Just like all of us, Rizal also experienced the feeling of having his own puppy love, love at first sight, first love, and one to love. But have you ever wondered how was Rizal's love story came to the way we know it today? Do you completely even know how many girls he encountered before? Segunda Katigba She was known as Rizal's puppy love with whom he fell in love at first sight. Rizal was just a 16-year-old boy back then. Well, Segunda was two years younger than him. Rizal was a friend of Segunda's brother, Mariano Katipa. Well, Rizal's sister's Olympia was Segunda's schoolmate in La Concordia. The Katigbaks were known in Batangas for their successful and very lucrative coffee industry. Would you believe that Rizal made a pencil sketch of Segunda after the first time that they have met and laid eyes on each other? Maybe, maybe the hero was really captivated by the young lady's eloquent eyes, rosy cheeks, and a smile that reveals a very beautiful face. But their love story didn't end well, for they both knew that they wouldn't even end with each other. Because of Segunda's getting box arrangement marriage to Manuel Luis, Rizal, having a delicadeza, didn't even bother to argue with that matter. Leonor Valenzuela, nicknamed as Aura, Leonor Valenzuela was described as a tall girl with regal bearing of being Rizal's province mate. The daughter of Captain Juan and Capitana Sandai Valenzuela, it was said that courting Leonor Valenzuela was Rizal's way of moving on from his unsuccessful love story. He indeed courted the lady using a magic-like love letters, written using a table salt and water to hide these letters. It needs to be heated above a lamp or candle before it can be seen. But why would Rizal keep their courtship hidden? It was said that Rizal was also courting the other Leonor, which is his cousin, while also courting Leonor Rivera. Some said it was too timing, but Orang did not mind it. It was either she supported the Rizal Rivera love team, or that she never really had a feeling for Rosé. Leonor Rivera, considered as Rizal's true love, Leonor Rivera was the daughter of Silvestre Boazon and Antonio Rivera, the cousin of the hero's father. Leonor was described as a tender as a budding flower, being a pretty lady, having a wavy soft hair, high forehead, wistful almond eyes, small and pensive mouth, and charming dimples. She was said to be intelligent and talented for knowing how to play the harp. And the, play, and the piano, together with her fascinating singing voice, their romance was hidden secret to her parents. She used pen names such as La Passion del Oriente and Timis Timis. When Rizal went home wounded, Leonor, with her tender love and care, nursed him. But Rizal didn't took his time to tell Leonor that he was leaving the country for Spain. She became unwell and suffered from insomnia, but he intended to send his sweetheart letters in different language. When Leonor became silent for a while, this became one of the reasons why Rizal went back to our country. Their supposed to be meetings were not allowed by Don Francisco, for Jose might bring danger to the family of Leonor. Did you know that Rizal intended to marry Leonor in his second departure from the country? But his father, Don, but his father Don Francisco, disapproved of his plan, as well as his brother Pasciano, thinking that it was selfish of his brother to marry the lady and then leave her.
But still, they kept on sending letters to each other until Rizal received none. It was later known that it was because of Leonor's mother, Donna Silvestra. She hid all of Rizal's letter and gifts for her daughter and planned to marry her to an English railway engineer, Charles Henry Keeping. Six months before the ceremony, Leonor herself sent a letter to Jose regarding the Keeping Rivera wedding which brought tears and sorrow to our hero. That letter signaled the end of their 11-year love affair. Leonor died from complications of childbirth. It was when Rizal was exiled in the Pitan. What added up to his sorrow was Leonor's wish to be buried be wearing the saya or skirt she used when she and Rizal first came to understanding and held tight a silver cup with the ashes of Rizal's letter to her. Did you know that Rizal mentions Leonor before his death? What a beautiful morning on morning like this. I used to, talk, to take walks here with my sweetheart. It was also said that Leonor was Rizal's inspiration, inspiration for the role of Maria Clara. Upon arriving in other nations and countries, Rizal did not fail to amuse every people he met. It was not even surprising to know of his love affairs abroad, which proved that Filipino beauty was likable internationally. Consuela Ortega E. Rey, probably a pretty woman for capturing two Filipinas in Spain, including our hero. Being the daughter of Bob Pablo Ortega E. Rey, the former mayor of Manila, she even had a record in her daily about her first meeting with Rizal. She mentioned that they talked for the whole night and was amused about how Rizal, how Rizal said beautiful things about her. But Rizal later then gave up his feelings of her because of Eduardo de Leta. Aside from this is because he was engaged to Leonor. Did you know that Rizal made a poem about Consuelo? It was entitled A la Señorita Consuelo Ortiga y Rey, which is now regarded as one of Rizal's best works. Osei-san, it was during Rizal's second trip that he met Seiko Sui of Japan. He first laid eyes on her when the Japanese woman was by the legislation in one of her afternoon walks. Rizal then asked for some information about the lady of to a Japanese gardener being the bridge between the two. Seiko became the tour guide of our hero in his dream. That's why it was not surprising to know that Rizal fell for the Japanese woman, but it had to end because of his mission. Did you know that Rizal almost married Seiko Sui and lived in Japan, but our hero was still consistent to his goal and lived his life of being beside his Osei son. Gertrude Beckett, the daughter of Rizal landlord Charles Beckett, Gertrude was a curvy lady with cheerful blue eyes, brown hair, rosy cheeks, and thin lips. She assisted Rizal in mixing color for his painting and prepared the clay for his culture. He more than normal help for our hero did not get reciprocated for Rizal never felt the same way she did for him. It was just a one-sided love story for the two that left the English lady with a broken heart as Rizal left London. Suzanne Hakobi, the Belgian lady who fell attracted to our hero. They had this what we call a mutual understanding. But it did not blossom because Rizal was busy in writing his novel, El Fili, and contributing to La Solidaridad. When Jose left Belgium, Suzanne cried. After two months, she sent him letters saying her hopeful wish to have him back in her country. Rizal did came back to Belgium, but it was to drown himself in revising the manuscript of El Fili for its publication. Nelly Boston, did you know that Rizal asked Antonio Luna to a fight for bad mounting Nelly? His almost wife Nelly was mentioned in his letters to his friends and told them about proposing to her which gained support from his friends, including Luna. Rizal was very happy in staying in their house as Nelly reciprocated his love for her, but they too did not end up together. 
One thing is because Nelly's mother did not want Jose as her son-in-law, and Nelly wanted Rizal to convert into Protestantism, which he never approved. Marie Josephine Leopoldine Bracken, born in Hong Kong, was the youngest among five children of an Irish couple. Her mother died after giving birth to Josephine, and her father later on decided to give his youngest child to her childless godparents, George Topher. Josephine had already met Rizal in Hong Kong when she accompanied her father to the Filipino doctor. Then, they also sailed to the Philippines to visit Rizal again for his father's cataracts. Although Josephine was not a remarkable beauty, being lonely, Rizal felt attracted to the happy character of this young lady. Rizal worked on his father's eyes, but it is no longer curable. And Josephine told her father that he wants to stay with Rizal, which brought distress to his adopted father and threatened to slash his wrist because of his jealousy and opposition, Josephine decided to accompany him as they left for Manila. During this time, Rizal already registered their marriage to the church but it was not approved for he has to write a retraction which he did not do. So they decided to say their vows to each other even without the blessing of the church. Their marriage was of the typical husband and wife story. The Josephine would take care of her husband Jose, as she called Rizal before. Rizal described her as a good, obedient, and submissive wife. They had a child who was a born prematurely named Francisco Rizal E. Bracken. One story told that Rizal played a prank to his wife that caused her miscarriage. Would you believe that Rizal's family never liked Jose's dear and happy wife? Some say because of her bad omen, knowing that everyone who stayed close to her dies or fell into illness. But this is not the reason why the family disliked the woman. It was said that they thought that Josephine was a spy for the friars and will only bring danger to Jose's security. It is simply undeniable that our hero is such a charming person back then in his time with his intelligence and chivalry acts that truly captivated every woman he had encountered it may be tragic in some parts and sad in some moments, but it's also a colorful and worth knowing story of his life. This is just one of the reasons to look up to our hero. Some may, be, some may branded him as babaero or womanizer, but in fact he was just a human who enjoyed the feeling of being in love and her One, two, <laughs> one, two, three. Sige, go. Three, two, one, go. Oh, no. Matagal na kasi siya dyan. Ah, 